Are y'all ready for an insane story time that's literally actively taking place as I record this video? So I agreed to join someone at their place for a real chill evening. Movies, card games, a couple of cocktails, harmless. I've known this guy for a couple of years. It's been an on and off kind of situation. Nothing has ever transpired. It's literally like we're basically nothing, right? So haven't seen him in a while so I'm just here chilling so I arrive and his loft or apartment complex is connected to a hotel and I see that they have coffee and I'm like oh like I'm actually tired I could use a cup of coffee so I order my coffee and we're waiting for my coffee when he says oh my ex is about to walk this way I said your ex he's like yeah my ex I said oh does she live here he says, yeah, she lives here. I said, oh, interesting. So, <laughs> so she walks, so she walks past and he's like, Ashton, Ashton, he's calling her name and she's ignoring him. And I said, oh, she must be upset. She must be upset because you're with another girl. Are y'all not cool? He says, we were cool up until now, I guess. And I said, oh, damn. So we let it go. So five minutes later, I get my coffee and we walk to the elevator. We see her again. I'm like, oh my God, this is crazy. Again, so he says, uh, he tries to talk to her again. He's like, Ashton, Ashton. And she's like, I'm good. And she's like, this is Cameron. She's like, I don't care. He says she knows about you. And she's like, I could care less and her elevator opens. I swear, this is like a movie. Her elevator opens and we get on a separate elevator. So we go into his unit immediately, immediately. I sit down my stuff and he says, I need to go talk to her. It's been 30 minutes. And I'm just waiting for him to get back. But I'm about to leave, obviously because this is hella disrespectful, hella. Honestly, the only reason why I have not left yet is because I need him to reimburse me for the liquor that I bought that he already told me he was gonna reimburse me for. And also he Ubered me here. I need him to Uber me back. Like I'm already taking an L. I'm not taking a financial L either, no. And if I was not tired and I didn't stop and get this coffee, none of this would have transpired. Everything happens for a reason, baby. I'm good regardless. Okay, guys, I've had enough. It's been 40 minutes. I'm literally just about to leave. Like, fuck it. I think I was like unclear. Like I said that we've known each other for a couple of years, but he's clearly still expressing interest in me. That's why I'm here. So like... You can't be interested in me and like not over your ex. Like, that's crazy. Get the fuck, get the out of here. Okay, guys, I'm really trying to decide if I should, um, I'm trying to decide if I should take the liquor with me or leave it here. Like, I kind of don't want it, but I bought it. So I'll just say it with me, it's fine. I'll save it. I mean, I'm sure it'll come in handy at some point in my life. The Uber is $20 and it won't kill me. Taking my caramel macchiato and getting the hell up out of here. I'm out of there, guys. How's that for a story time? Kind of unbelievable, right? Ashley? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I look right on. Yeah. So I'm back home now, and literally I haven't even heard from him. It's been probably an hour and 20 minutes since we arrived at his place, and he left to go talk to his ex. So should I block him or wait to see if he's going to give me my money back? So I don't have the follow up on this one, but this is a little bit too much. A lot of women would have just up and left as soon as he said that he needs to go talk to her. But then again, you said that it wasn't that serious. Oh, you knew him for two years and you downplayed it in the beginning, but then you switched it up and 
but he obviously didn't really care too much. He either he got the buns and start clapping some cheeks and made up with her for, to be talking that long. And looks like he took the dub in this one, and you definitely took the L. You bought the liquor. You paid to come over there. You said he got the Uber, I'm assuming. But whatever. He went with the better choice, which is what people do a lot. Women do it all the time. Women will say, hey, we got a date tonight. But then another dude shows up in the picture and you just get brushed to the, to the side. It happens. We all have to hold the L sometimes. But the fact that you decide to make a whole TikTok out of this, if I wouldn't have got the coffee, then I would have never known this and blah, blah, blah. I bought the liquor. You came over with a huge bottle of liquor and nothing was going to happen. If this is a real thing and it's not just some BS, then you got to know that he went with the better option and you just weren't the better option, baby. Even though I'm assuming the buns were halfway on the platter at this point, you weren't the best option. He had more history with the ex, which happens a lot with people. Whoever has the most history is typically who the person is going to go for and who they want to be with. And you just didn't meet that criteria. This goes for both men and women, guys. If someone flakes on you, chances are that's what happens. Or either they just like, why did I do that? And whatever. If she makes it difficult to date her, she doesn't like you, bro. That's just how it goes. When a woman likes you and a woman is really interested in you, she makes it easy for you. She'll help, she'll help you out. She'll help you date her. She won't put all obstacles in the way or say maybe or leave you on red or cancel flake, all those things like that. She can't make it. She'll come back with a counter offer on a date. She'll offer to pay for things sometimes. She'll communicate with you. Women that are truly interested in you have a high interest level. They will communicate. They will open the door for you to date them, whatever. You're just more into them than they are into you. But the fact that he brought you in the crib and left you there and didn't even so much as text you and she waited around that long for him to come back and the only reason why I'm waiting because of this. Most women are so prideful, they would just up and dip and wouldn't even give him a chance. And should I block him? <laughs> why are you putting so much thought into it? I'm pretty sure there's dudes just trying to get with you. Just go with them. This was just a case of you just took a L. You went through all this. You wanted to get some coffee. You should have came over there refreshed. And you guys could have had a good night. And you would have gotten chosen. And he wouldn't have to worry about that. He would have had all his attention on you. Straight up. I don't know, guys. But this happens a lot. It's happened to all of us once or twice. Or maybe several times. Especially men. A woman will stand you up. But not to this extent. Is Atlanta this bad, though? Let me know. Comment below. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Listen, hit me up on Linktree to book a one-on-one -on -one with yours. Truly much blessings and abundance. Stick around for the next video that's going to pop up on the screen below. That's where I'm going to see you guys at. This is your favorite everything. This is wisdom. I'm out of here. Peace.